We want to find the limit as x approaches infinity of natural log two x divided by x. But notice in this case, as x approaches positive infinity, both the numerator and denominator approach positive infinity. So we say this limit has an indeterminate form of infinity divided by infinity. And because of the indeterminate form, we can use L'Hopital's rule to help us determine this limit. Where L'Hopital's rule, also called Bernoulli's rule, uses derivatives to evaluate limits involving indeterminate forms. Where zero divided by zero is probably the most common indeterminate form, if a limit has any of these indeterminate forms, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to determine the limit. L'Hopital's rule says the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. So if this limit has one of these indeterminate forms, we can find the derivative of the two functions and then see if we can find the limit in this form here. So going back to our example, let's try it. This limit is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of natural log two x divided by the derivative of x. Well the derivative of natural log two x would be equal to one divided by two x times the derivative of two x which would be two. So we'd have one divided by two x times two. The derivative of x is just one. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Two over two simplifies to one. So we have one over x divided by one. So we just have the limit as x approaches infinity of one divided by x. Notice in this form, the numerator stays at one and the denominator increases without bound and therefore this fraction gets smaller and smaller and approaches zero. Therefore this limit is equal to zero. So using L'Hopital's rule, we were able to determine this limit. Let's look at the graph of the original function to see if we can verify this limit. Here it is, notice as x approaches infinity, or as we move right along the graph, notice how the y values or function values are slowly approaching zero, verifying our limit is correct. Let's take a look at our second example. Here we have the limit as x approaches infinity of two x cubed divided by e raised to the power of four x. Again, notice as x approaches positive infinity, both the numerator and denominator approach positive infinity and therefore we can apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine this limit. So we'd have the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of two x to the third, that would be six x squared. The derivative of e raised to the power of four x would be e to the four x times four, or four e to the four x. Notice how if we wanted to, we could simplify the four and the six but there's no need to. Notice how in this form, both the numerator and denominator are still approaching infinity. Which means we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So this would be equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of six x squared would be twelve x. The derivative of four e to the four x would be four e to the four x times four, or sixteen e to the four x. Once again, notice as x approaches infinity, this is approaching infinity over infinity, so we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. The derivative of twelve x would be twelve. The derivative of sixteen e to the four x would be sixteen e to the four x times four, or sixty-four e to the four x. And now because the numerator is a constant, we can determine this limit. The limit as x approaches infinity of twelve divided by sixty-four e to the four x. The numerator is the constant twelve. The denominator is increasing without bound, and therefore this fraction is getting smaller and smaller, approaching zero. And therefore this limit is equal to zero. Again, let's verify this by looking at the graph of the given function. Here it is, and notice how very quickly we can tell the function values are approaching zero as we move to the right or as x approaches infinity in this direction here. I hope you found this helpful.